something about Miguel. Um, because wage indicator now is in 92 countries. Wage indicator now is in 92 countries. But we started in Spain in 2004 with Miguel. Pero empezamos en España en 2004 con Miguel. And it's thanks to Miguel that we are here. Es uh, gracias. Que estamos todos aquí. Gracias, Miguel. And sometimes it's really it's not about many people, but it's about a person. Uh, so that's how it will work in projects as this as well. Wage indicators started small uh, because I had a lower wage than all other journalists sí. around me. Muchas veces no es tanto la cantidad de gente como como las personas en concreto. Wage indicator empezó con muy poca gente, con unos cuantos periodistas a su alrededor. Ella es periodista y había trabajado para los sindicatos. And our children and having children, I had even a lower wage because I had kids. And had even a lower wage. Ah, porque exacto, porque tenían niños, entonces tenían un salario más bajo por el hecho de tener. And then step by step you start to think, you do research, um, and now we are here. Y entonces empiezan a pensar, a hacer investigación y se empieza el proyecto y estamos aquí. Okay, um, and I will show you very very short. Enseñará um, muy muy brevemente. This uh, wage indicator project, and then especially all related to uh, the gender pay gap, budget salarial. Este bueno proyecto está relacionado wage indicator en este caso con la brecha salarial. You you can see it. Wageindicator.org is the umbrella site. Esta es la digamos la página global de la de la fundación a nivel mundial. And here you will see gender pay gap. And then all countries with pages, blah, 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 blah. So that's the first thing. With all information, like in Colombia, like in Paraguay, like in Spain, like in France, like in Germany, etc. Like in Indonesia, China, etc. And here, you can see, I will just show you the pages and then later tonight you can get to it. This is already two salario, and in two salario we have all these little maps. En dos salario tenemos este mapa en el que podemos elegir la región con las regiones de la brecha salarial en concreto. And then you can compare whether Spain is doing better than Colombia, for instance. Y puedes comparar, por ejemplo, España si lo está haciendo mejor que Colombia. Look, the reason we are here. Is thanks to a special project within the European Commission or within the, within Europe. That project is called Vita. Estamos aquí por un proyecto de la Unión Europea que participa en el que promueve el Wage Indicator que se llama Vita, que es with innovative tools against gender pay gap. Gender pay gap. Vita GPC. Yeah. Within this project, we work with all. Uh, 28 uh, countries in Europe plus Turkey. But uh, we go deep into Spain, Hungary, and the Netherlands. And for Spain, well, it's Miguel, it's Cristina, and all others. For Hungary, it's Sylvia. <laughs> In the Netherlands, well, I do it because I'm Dutch. <laughs> so uh, what we do within the Vita project uh, is discussing all over Europe um, how can you improve collective agreements in order to reduce the gender pay gap. Lo que hacemos en el proyecto Vita es discutir en todos los países cómo a través de la negociación colectiva podemos ayudar a los and obviously we will do that here to uh, share with you the best collective agreements in order to reduce the gender pay gap. But we were not wage indicator like with Miguel. We have already a new project. Ah, bueno, que como wage indicator tenemos un nuevo proyecto que también nos lo quiere enseñar. 
and I'm quite sure that most of you who are in negotiations for collective agreements, you will love this. We created, uh, in two, from 2012, we created a, a global collective agreement database. And the, within that collective agreement database, any country can be in the database. Cualquier país puede estar en la base de datos. <coughs> and it's now 55. Ahora hay 55. And any sector can be in the collective Cualquier agreement sector. database. Uh, so any country, any <coughs> sector. Uh, we start in Spain uh, with uh, uh, commerce, you call it that. But coming back to the good uh, collective agreement for women, as soon as in this group we created a good collective agreement with only perfect <coughs> clauses uh, to reduce the gender pay gap, we put it in this database. And the track, how will it work in the end? In, a, let's say, half a year, three quarters of a year. Uh, when one of, one of you um, created a very good uh, collective agreement, then uh, we will put it in the database. You can tell all your friends in Spain, but also in Argentina or whatever where, you say, I did a very good one. And they can use uh, your agreement to improve their agreements. So you share, share, compare, and make it stronger. Sí, la cosa es eh, compartir y comparar. Una vez se incorpore estos convenios colectivos, estas cláusulas de convenio colectivo a esta, a esta base de datos, todos podemos comentar con amigos en distintos países que vean eh, el buen trabajo que se ha hecho y que eh, comparen los diferentes países las diferentes cláusulas porque esta base de datos, digamos, está, si lo veis en el lateral, está separada por temas para que se pueda comparar entre divers, diversos países como and of course, uh, an ILO, OIT, it works with us to spread all the good clauses around the world. And so this all started with Miguel. Eh? <laughs> it's well, very simple. <laughs> and you're admitted. Eh, y, bueno, que disfrutéis de la, de la, de la